Good morning, everyone. It's Anne Marie. Anne Marie Morales, certified clinical hypnotherapist. I took my exam yesterday, but I've been a bit busy and I uh, haven't had a chance to celebrate. And look who I've got. A little cupcake here. Okay, so just some perspective on the next 48 hours. You guys know already that I am in an evacuation zone and that we could be hit potentially with the hurricane um, at a category three or four. Um, I've prayed this morning, I got up at five, I've been getting up at five and I'm prayed and I brought in the Merkaba, I brought in the dragons and um, so I'm already starting to hold and anchor that light, that information. And um, I'm taking artwork off my walls, taking artwork off my walls, putting them in plastic bags. And um, I'm just doing what the Raw Collective said to do uh, three videos ago which is to prepare with intelligence, to prepare with logic. I just don't know what's going to happen. So like, see, I've got this, these paintings here are worth hundreds of dollars, plus they're my work. I'm not gonna leave them. I'm gonna wrap them up in plastic and put them under my bed or something like that to just in case, who knows what's gonna happen. So you don't work out of panic. You work out of logic, right? Intelligence, you get your you, you educate yourself. I mean, obviously, you listen to what's happening and you prepare. But at the same time, in your mind, and yesterday in my mind, all day long, I kept saying, no, I believe in miracles. I'm preparing a lot, but don't, it's going to be for nothing. It's going to be for nothing. It's going to be for nothing. <laughs> um you can tell she's not worried okay the birds aren't worried the rest of nature is not worried because they're in their core state their pure state all the time anyway i am evacuating inland about an hour this beautiful soul cheryl who um is like my hypnotherapy buddy, uh, offered me her entire house. She's going to go stay with her mom, and uh, she offered me her entire house to stay at with my mom, my dogs, and my cat Bray, the, the cat that told me that I was a healer eight years ago. <laughs> I'm not leaving her. I'm taking her with me. So mom's listening to the mass. I don't know if you can hear the bells go off. But, yeah, it's, it's just, and also the other perspective I want to give is that I've channeled this before. We are in a state of perpetual change, just change. That's our nature. Our nature is change. Our egos don't like change. That's why we surround ourselves with these permanent buildings. That's why we surround ourselves with all these things and things and things. I never will never forget years and years ago, and I don't even know who I was channeling, but they were like things and things and things and things. That's what you human like. You humans like things. And, and I'll never forget that. Cadence, things and things and things and things. That's what they said. Um, yeah, I I mean, with the stress, I mean, it's not like I'm not stressed. My Graves' disease is kind of coming back. I've gotten welts all over my head, under my neck. Um, so, I mean, something is active. But, hey, I'm going through a stressful time. Am I stressing over it? No. Am I taking extra things? Yeah, taking extra things. So anyway, 
My mom went through World War II. Uh, she went into someone's dried up well under their house. And when they came up, found their entire city bombed down. Destruction happens many, many ways. It can happen through fire. It can happen through hurricane. It can happen through mudslide. It can happen through a thousand different ways. Um, points in our lives where we thought we'd never recover from, but we end up recovering from. So let's keep our eyes forward. Have I done everything I could? Yeah, I did. I have the insurance. I paid for the insurance. So, yeah. Um, but in my mind, even this morning, I was saying, no, I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. I am due miracles. I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. I was also noticing that it was exactly two years ago today that we were packing up and leaving. October 8th was my closing for my house. Look at the synchronicity on this. It's not even a joke. The synchronicity of two years to the date that I literally evacuated my house in New York because that's how it was. Like we, we needed to get the fuck out and because the people were coming literally two years to the day. I'm doing the same thing with my home here. These fucking things, I don't know. Whatever this is about, I have no idea. No idea at all. But listen, why am I here? I'm here because to just share a different insight. We panic so much when we're threatened. We panic so, so much. And we forget how supported we are and how resilient we are and how resourceful we are and how generous we are. Humanity is very, very generous. So as my cat continues to play around me, I give you my love and I give you my blessings. And I wish for you all peace, health, prosperity, and miracles. Is there anything spirit wants to say today? <laughs> yes, indeed, we are raw. We are the raw collective. Again, through the somber mood of our dear one, we come to you with a somber tone. Fear not, I am with you. Fear not. I am with you. I am always at your side. These are words coming from the book you know as the Bible. Why does humanity forget? Remember, remember, that is what we say. Remember today. Remember how loved you are. That what you know as God is always with you and by your side. That what you know is your guidance is always with you and by your side. We are Anne-Marie's guidance and through her we guide you. I love you. We love you. We are the Raw Collective. Our dear one and I are one. We love you. Yeah, I'm sorry, I got a little bit too emotional. I got a little messed up at the end, but boy, that hit me hard. Fear not, I am with you. I am at your side. Okay. I love you all so much. Bye.